A convicted drug dealer is back behind bars after last night's incident that resulted in the first officer involved shooting of the year. Last night, narcotics detectives were watching Brian Brightman and were closing in on his car. Brightman, an eight year old child believed to be his son and the driver, they were all in the car. The driver then tried to run away on foot. Police say he had a knife. The sheriff's office says he refused to drop that knife and when he turned toward the officers, he was shot and killed. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joining us now. Khalil, that man yet to be identified, but Brightman has a long criminal history. He does, and it includes things like drug trafficking and prison time. The parking lot of the Sagefield Apartments near North Main Street is quiet now. The only action, a woman walking two dogs and these two Jacksonville Sheriff's Office vehicles leaving the property. Vastly different story from Thursday night when it looked like this. Chief of Investigations Mark Romano with JSO says narcotics detectives were tailing a car here. A known drug dealer was inside of the car. JSO says it watched multiple transactions happen from that vehicle and inside was an unidentified driver, 32-year-old Brian Brightman and the 8-year-old boy. JSO says when detectives blocked in the car, the driver attempted to run away. Two detectives followed and noticed the driver had a knife in his hand. Romano says the detectives told the driver multiple times to drop his knife. He then turned towards the officers with the knife still in hand. And at that time, both uh, there's two detectives that were nearby this individual who fired their issue weapons at the individual, striking him multiple times. The driver was transported to the hospital where he died from his injuries. Brightman and the boy stayed inside the car. The child was not hurt. Brightman is being charged with selling fentanyl, unlawful use of a two-way device, and child abuse. And back to Brightman's uh, prison, uh, his history. He has served two prison terms for prior drug convictions and was last released in 2019.